we're back and uh yeah i'm just i don't i don't know what to say about these <sighs> i should have got my shorty to review them should have got my shorty to review them what a look how look how bright these look how bright these are man you ain't getting lost in a crowd at these tell you that much romeo the retro god back with another one and on today's episode we're going to be checking out the cardi coded Club C double from Reebok and the dissect and rip it. No, I'm just joking. We ain't gonna do all that. But we're gonna get into the 4K view as usual. We're gonna show you guys what this joint's made of. And let's get right into it. Alright, ladies. So here we have the Reebok Cardi coated Club C double women's shoe in collaboration with Reebok. So what we're basically looking at is a uh it's basically a pat leather upper man i was actually really surprised i thought the whole sneaker was gonna be some sort of like synthetic plastic but i was really wrong a uh all pat leather upper except for this mid panel here which is plastic which we'll get into in a minute now um <laughs> where do i begin with this shoe man it's a triple pink colorway um it's like a very neon pink based color and i think that's what they were going for they wanted it to have some serious pop pink lace is pink everything with some see-through accents and we have a rubber cup sole that is basically a platform version of the original club c so anyways let's get a little bit closer and look at the details straight um aeration holes on the toe box kind of have this stitching effect that comes across the shoe like that and it's not actually holding any materials together it's not like there's two pieces of pat leather that they're trying to hold together at least not from my view here it looks like it's just a stitching that they're using strictly for aesthetic purposes i will say though that if you can look at the cut of leather that they're using it's actually really it's actually a nice thick cut of leather so i mean they're not skimping on the materials <laughs> like sizing don't even get me started man this stuff is pretty stiff this upper feels like plastic i thought it was plastic to tell you the truth which is why when my girlfriend got them i actually wanted to get my hands on them to see for myself because i thought they were fully plastic man just looking at the pictures you can see the reebok branding they kind of over overlaid the lacelet section on top of everything as the final layer and that kind of helps helps to stick out which is a little bit interesting you know you have your dynamic pink laces and on the tongue of the shoe you have this see-through Reebok um, it's basically just a see-through tab it's not anything crazy but it, it does kind of look interesting when you get up close you know what I mean it has that like star there Reebok classic whatever so I mean it's just a basically a new take on an old silhouette and it's not like um, anything that hasn't been done before they just really remix this thing here's where the, the shoe kind of gets a little bit interesting at least and you got some Cardi B branding on the inside there with the uh, with the Reebok vectoring and what you're looking at here it's a textile uh, inner liner but it's it's neoprene and it's 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 soft at least it's soft to the touch that Reebok branding and that's in that same hard pot leather the you know you give it that booty test and that feels like it's it feels like a synthetic synthetic ass fake fake booty a reebok branding on the back of the heel i like that touch it sticks out really far that's not going to fade out anytime soon and you have this patch going up the heel the lining here actually is like it, it kind of stops it doesn't go all the way into the shoe so that's one thing i feel like they kind of skimped on when it came to the liner because now you're looking at the back of this i'm kind of wondering why they stopped the material halfway into the inside there so that's one thing that's a little bit weird let's look at the outsole real quick Reebok cross-section outsole with these kind of like v-shaped cuts on the outside it says it's a non-marking outsole which means it's not gonna it's not supposed to leave any any scuff marks like on the floor if you're playing ball but i don't know who the hell's gonna really be playing ball or going to a ballroom in these anyways but this outsole color is still a very pastel color -y. It, to me it just looks like crayon pink is what it, it, it this, the, the sole reminds me of it's like a crayon color to me that's crazy it's marketed as a tennis shoe who knew made in vietnam <laughs> dynamic pink dynamic pink dynamic pink that's what that color code stands for and yeah this is a size nine and she really needed a size nine and a half now they do retail for 110 dollars before tax reebok.ca and there's plenty of sizing available all the way from five to size nine and a half so you guys can pretty much get these if you want to you know you got your tag there reebok club c double and 
as I said, this is a rubber double cup sole. Proud of Cardi, man. She came up. People was clowning her, you know what I'm saying? Her and Offset getting clowned all the time and all that. And you know what I mean? Now they're now, now she's here. Now what is everybody gonna say? So as I said, sizing, make sure you girls know your size before you pick these up. These don't break in the same way like an Air Force One do, because this is some seriously tough, tough pat leather. It's not that squishy, squishy. My girl put these on for two seconds and she was she was like, nope, these are going back. My suggestion is go up half a size to be safe on these shoes. And I mean, for the price point 110, you're not gonna find anything much more bright on the market. That's the Cardi coated Club C double women's shoe made in collaboration with Cardi B. So if you girls are like my girlfriend, you guys will end up buying these shoes just cause they look pretty. Like they look pretty, they're shiny. I like shiny. <laughs> I swear to God, don't buy these because they're shiny. Make sure that you have the right shoe size because if you don't have the right shoe size, your feet gonna be bleeding. Although a lot of you females are probably used to that already. You guys like wear all kind of high heel platform, toe jamming stuff anyways. But for you sneakerhead ladies that are expecting a little bit something more, you know what I mean? Jordan, Air Force one -y, these are a bit one off. If I see any dudes wearing this, if I see any dudes wearing this, if I see any dudes wearing this, mm -mm. Death eyes. This is like lipstick on foot. Another thing that was pretty common a couple years ago was all red shoes. So who knows if pink shoes are gonna be the next thing? It could be. Who knows, man? Y'all females are starting to sway to sneaker culture. So who knows? Uh, are these better than the Beyonce line? Do you guys like the Beyonce sneakers better than these? Or those joints came in a block of ice, and it's kind of hard to compete with that. They're, they're shiny. They're shiny, but they don't fit, though. Anyways, if you haven't liked and subscribed channel, I'm Romeo the Retro Guy. I am your local GTA Toronto sneaker reviewer guy. Yeah, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Romeo the Retro God back with another banger, of course. Thank you guys so much for rocking with me. I'll be back again this week with another banger. I got some cool stuff coming up for you guys. Some stuff that you guys aren't thinking of and some drops that you're not paying attention to outside of all the hype beast stuff that's going on. So make sure you guys pay attention. I'll be back with some, I'll be back some cray cray.